So I might have messed up really badly. I logged on to the Squid Island server to Sorry, I can't even be happy, dude. <laughs> this is a sad moment for us all. Well, mostly me. I'm afraid I'll get kicked out of the group if I don't do something soon. So today we're gonna fix everything. Yeah. Now, the reason why I'm even saying that is because apparently somebody didn't like that I tore down their entire house and built my own house on top of the torn down house. Can you imagine not liking that? Yeah, me neither, dude. Because Jelly left these signs for me to read. Thanks for destroying my pyramid loser. <laughs> Thanks, Jelly, no problem. Thinking of quitting because of you. Enjoy the castle and diamonds you stole. Okay, so he does know that technically I didn't steal the diamonds. But I gotta take blame where the blame is due. This was, in fact, used to be Jelly's pyramid. It looked like this. Now, listen, I thought it was really ugly, and I think most of you can agree that it was kind of a bad house. He just built, like, a tiny little thing on top of it, okay? The whole reason I tore it down was because, one, I wanted to troll Jelly, and two, I had moved off Squid Island right over here in my underwater house, and Josh didn't like that. I wasn't on Squid Island, so I thought, kill two birds with one stone, remove the ugly house, move into Squid Island myself, everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. And now we've got another house outside of Squid Island. Luckily, this one is close enough to Squid Island where I don't think it's going to be an issue. But as far as I can tell, this is Jelly's new crib. And I gotta be honest, it's way better than the pyramid anyway. So I don't really know why he's that upset. I kind of just forced him to build a really cool house. But listen, he is mad. I made a mistake and I recognize that. I'm gonna fix it today. That's right. I've been wanting to make this for a while, but I thought what better way to introduce it than to do it right now. Because I want to give Jelly the biggest Minecraft present he's ever received. I want to be so nice to him that he's gonna be like, you know what, Craner? Good thing you removed your house because you gave me this present. So I've got something to live up to, but I'm gonna try my best to do it. And the thing that I've been wanting to do, which makes sense to do now, is I've kind of been wanting to make a communal mine. Somewhere we can all go to mine for resources, right? I don't quite know where to place it yet, though. Let me have a look around. Ooh, you know what? I might have already found out. This is not gonna be used as farmland anymore, so let me clean it up for Jelly since he's too lazy to do it himself. <laughs> no, Crater, you're supposed to be nice to Jelly, okay? Since he is a genius that doesn't wanna clean up, clean up after- Okay, I can't do it. I can't be this nice to Jelly. I'm already giving him a giant present, okay? What else do you guys want from me? This is supposed to be kind of a troll series, okay? Insane trolls happen. Crater, you are in apology mode. Don't defend yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyway, I think this will actually be a perfect place to have a little bit of a mine going. I just need to figure out how to make it cool and pretty. So let me clean up after all of this mess that's around here and try to make a nice area for us to get a bunch of diamonds. That's the number one thing I want to give to Jelly today. A bunch of diamonds and iron and other resources. Because let's be honest, we kind of ruined everything that he's ever worked for. So... <laughs> It's the least I can really do at this point, isn't it? I will give 60% of the diamonds I find to Jelly for free. And 80% of the iron I find. Okay, that should be a big enough present for even uh, Santa Claus to... Uh, uh, yeah, I got nothing. I'm trying to come up with a pun. I'm still kind of freaked out, Jelly. Please don't quit Squid Island, man. I mean, come on, bro. Wait, I haven't actually checked. Has anybody used my farm at all? Because I'm... I'm busy making the next community project and nobody's been using my farm so far as far as I know. So let's see if anybody's been there today. Not even a single crop has been touched. I don't feel appreciated right now. I really don't. But this isn't about me. <laughs> I'm here to fix my relationship with Jelly. <laughs> then we need the rule ball to be here for the mine. Since it's a mine, I don't really think it needs many rules, but I just kind of want to have something here, you know? Welcome! This is the community mine built by Crater. Rules. Think of Crater and how much you like and appreci appreciate him being in the group when you mine. 
Jelly specifically. <laughs> there we go. That'll teach him to enjoy me. Okay, so any good mine needs sort of like a cool entrance, right? So I think we're gonna use cobblestone to make this sort of look like kind of cool and stuff and mysterious. See, I think this sort of looks like a secret kind of cool mine. Humidity mine. There we go. We can also leave a crafting table here and a furnace here that people can use as they please. <laughs> this is already so cool, dude. And it's gonna be even cooler when I get Jelly a bunch of items from here. And he'll forgive me and then we'll ride into the sunset together like best friends. That's how this will all go down. Trust me. Mark my words, everybody. Bro, <laughs> really, dude? Okay, it's gonna have to be kind of like a weird entrance to the mine then. Because I don't want to have to deal with water in my community mine, okay? Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> There's water everywhere. The start of this project is a lot harder than I thought it would be. It'll end up good, though. I'll make sure that this ends up being a really good mine. We just gotta... Somehow get past this giant lake. Okay, so I think I finally managed to avoid the water. That took a lot of roundabouts and stuff like that. But we are on our way. We were on our way to make a good mine, but there is more water here. What is this Atlantis, dude? What is happening? I've never seen this much underground water before. Okay, you know, we need to go, like, really far in just one direction now. And then... Jesus! More this way? Okay, I'm not going that way then. I'm going straight this way and hopefully avoiding all the water we possibly can. And then this way. Okay, I think maybe we are in the clear now. People are going to be like, why is the community mine formed like this? Like, if Jelly and Josh see this mine, they'll be like, why do I have to go in a giant roundabout to get down? Well, you guys know the answer now, so you can let them know. If they complain, tell them tell them it makes sense, okay? <laughs> I think I hear a zombie this way, maybe, or down. Okay, it's definitely coming from... There we go. I found something. Oh, gosh, I forgot I don't have armor anymore. I donated it to the squid god last episode. Jeez, dude. Okay, 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 just watch out. Don't get overconfident now, Craner. There we go. Okay, so this might be a good cave. At least I see some iron that we can bring. And remember, I promised him... Was it 80% I said? <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. Okay, I'll just give him a buttload. Let's just agree on that, okay? The amount of diamond and iron I'll give him is just gonna be a buttload. And the interpretation of a buttload is sort of up to me. <laughs> hey, I make the rules here. This is my Minecraft video. Hopefully, I stumble upon, like, a giant cave system that'll make us all rich. I believe I heard some noises coming from this direction, but they kind of stopped. Oh, oh, okay, there's water. Hopefully, it's not another... It's another underwater thing. Gosh dang it. This is the worst cave I've ever made. I'm trying to be nice here, and the world just isn't letting me, guys. Ooh, we got a change of the rock now. This could be a good sign for like one of those big, juicy diamond caves that I'm looking for. At least I'm hoping it's that. <laughs> I've already been mining for ages right now, and I'm kind of tired already. I'm doing this for my best friend, Jelly. I gotta remember. Okay, definitely hear zombies now. We could be onto something finally, and hopefully something that's not underwater. Please, world, give me something here. Oh, that train sound. That, that means there's a big cave close by. Ah, I was right. Okay, yes. This is exactly what we needed. As long as the community mine leads to this place, I feel like it's a, succe it's a successful community mine. Gotta learn how to talk sometimes, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this spooder man right here. Get out of here, sir. And let's get this iron. Just one. It's fine. We'll collect as much as we can from... Ooh! Two diamonds. Okay, that is a very, very good start to this mine right now. Okay, let's make sure I have room. Jeez. Okay, get rid of the wheat. Okay, one, two, three... And four. So that means two diamonds are already from Jelly. I'm going to split those up 50-50. 
Those are the new rules I made. I don't know what I said previously, but those are the rules now. <laughs> This even means that maybe I can get myself a full iron set again. I mean, I really want that. Hopefully my donation is going to something good. You know, it was kind of a good armor piece that I gave that squid god right there. More iron here. Good. And some right there. All right, let's just try to go down and see if we can find some more diamond. I feel like Jelly's gonna appreciate iron, but if I give him diamond, then he will officially be my best friend again. I feel like I can buy his love. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, we got some more iron right there. Look for anything blue and shiny, guys. That is what we are looking for. By the way, if I'm missing any diamond... Ooh, there it is. There's one right there. If I'm missing any diamond, yell at me in the comments, and I can always come down here to check it again, okay? So make sure to let me know in the comments. And I'll definitely go down here again. It's the new community mine. Anybody's welcome to pick it up. You can also tell the other guys if there was this diamond down here that I missed. Oh, jeez. Okay, good thing there are no skeletons. I can handle these bad boys. There we go. Thank you, Creeper. You work in my favor. I do appreciate it. And just to make my travels a little bit safer, I do feel like we need to actually smelt some of this stuff or I am going to actually die. <laughs> it would be bad if I died on my own trip, okay? Oh, 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 oh. More diamond. Okay, you guys are not going to explode my diamonds. I can promise you that right now. I am keeping you away from all the loot, okay? This is jellies and my diamonds. One... Okay, that was just one. It's fine. So we've got six now. I'll give four of those to Jelly and two for myself. But that's me being nice. And I'm not done yet. I want a lot more diamonds and a lot more iron before I go up and uh, make my present to Jelly. So let's keep looking. Any diamonds? Ooh, dude, I swear it's gotten so... Oh my goodness. It's gotten so easy to find diamonds in this new update. I got nine already, dude. Four for Jelly, three for me. Wait, five for jelly, three for me. Mass never been my strong suit, okay? But he gets he gets the bigger amount. Okay, now I really, really, really want that uh, armor because I feel like a lot of these creepers are spawning all around me right now and it could get scary. I mean, I don't have any armor on, so I think they can pretty much kill me with that one blow at this point. Oh, gosh. Okay, get rid of all of the... Oh, wait, what? There was this much diamond the entire time right here? It's right next to where I set up camp, and I didn't even see it. Whoa, that's insane. I told you guys, it's so easy to get diamonds these days. It's actually crazy. Okay, so I've got a little bit of armor now. Just to make sure that I don't die looking for stuff for jelly. Okay, I think it's fair. I spend a little bit of money on myself right now. Now, let's make a little hole here. And put in some trash that we don't need to be carrying around. So we have space for the good stuffs. Okay, the cave seems to be continuing. So that's a good sign. Let me just make that armor piece and then we continue on our search. All right, that's enough for a chest plate. I'm getting shot by a creeper. Skeleton, but I don't really care. Okay, we need to go down further now. More diamonds, more iron, and then we prepare the biggest Minecraft present I think anybody's in the trio ever has given to anyone in the trio. I'm gonna go down in history, boys. Oh, yeah. We've got more diamond here. Okay, let me block this up. And one, two, and three. Okay, how many can we give now? We got 15. That means Jelly gets eight and I get seven. That's more diamonds than he lost, guys. But I feel like we're still not done. I want to give him at least 10 diamonds. And then I feel like we've done our part of the thing. Okay? 10 diamonds for free. That is a very good gift to get when all you lost was five diamonds and a crappy house made out of sand. There's no way he can be mad at me after this. I swear it is, it almost seems like I'm cheating to find these diamonds, but it's just that easy in this update. They are just everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why they made it that easy. It used to be like kind of cool to find diamonds, but now I feel like I'm just finding them everywhere. This looks very, very promising. Oh, I was right. See? Dude, what is wrong with Minecraft? I've got 18 diamonds now. That means I can give him 10 and I keep eight. That, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, is the best thing I could have done for him. Now, all I've got to do 
is find enough iron to make him a full iron set of armor. And then I feel like I've done enough to repay him. So let's head back and I'll get iron on the way. Oh, man. Okay, actually, I make it sound like that was hard to do, but I feel like it was way too easy. Now, we need to prepare his gift, right? I'm just gonna give all of that to Dilly. He deserves that. Okay, next thing I need is a chest where my presents can be in. And, ooh, I'm gonna make it even better, too. I'm gonna give him every single piece of food I have on the community farm right now. He can get it all, dude. Now, we take the carrots, we take the taters, we take the wheat seeds... And we replanned everything because that's one of the rules of my community farm. And if I, as the creator of the community farm, don't even follow the rules, then we're all lost, okay? I need to follow my own rules. Now, carrots go here. We do taters. The last strip of wheat right here. <sighs> all right, that's all prepared for him. Now, the next thing I need is a bunch of yellow wool. And luckily, we've already got that because I made these yellow wool sheeps last time. I need to wrap the present in yellow wool so he knows it's from me, obviously. I can't have Josh steal the credit for my present, dude. That would not be fine. Okay, now, where do I... I guess I can plant the present, like, right here. Just, like, right here so it's so noticeable, right? So let's make it like that, like this. Put the little chest here. Oh, man, I need to make a middle. <laughs> it's, it doesn't look good if I don't put it in the middle, dude. I'm actually gonna make it smaller. I, I overestimated how big I need to make this thing, okay? So first things first, he gets all the food that we have harvested, right? Which is quite a lot. Don't forget the taters. There we go. Not only that, he gets 10 diamonds, dude. He can also have some of my steak. You know what? Why not, dude? And to wrap it all up, I think the iron is just about done cooking. There we go. The present for Jelly to make him not want to leave Squid Island has now been prepared. We put iron all around the diamonds right here like so. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my gift to Jelly. If he's still mad at me after this, then I quite honestly don't know how to fix our relationship. <laughs> this, this should be plenty. Craners, apology to Jelly. Hard. There we go. <sighs> Let's see if he accepts my apology.